James the Red Engine has had Trackmaster models since 1994, and today I've taken it upon myself to review and rank over 40 models and two cancelled ones. So the first time James appeared in our faces was in 1994, and was the third Trackmaster product released ever. This model featured extreme lack of detail, and a face that I can trace back to this laughing one. Anyway, he was released with a cattle car and a brake van, C tier. And then came a talk and action one in 2000, and is labelled as the sixth rarest item ever. Well, the American version anyway. This one was voiced by Robin Smith. Why is it rare? Because not many were sold or something. B tier variety. 2003 brought forward an updated James model with some fantastic addition. I'm talking white running board, painted eyes and updated rolling stock. Absolute A tier, a certified classic here. 2004 featured this model attached to an express coach that talked. This talking rendition was voiced by Katsuji Mori. The man also voiced Paul McCartney in the Japanese Yellow Submarine film. Trivia folks. And then in 2007, Hit Toys decided to just not follow PlayRail's drift and released their James model featuring basically the 1994 stuff, but different sticker detailing and a slightly updated face. This came as a big friends Toys R Us and European pack, but hey, it's variant time as in 2007 came a yellow and black James. This was based off the episode The Green Controller that had James painted as a bee. Just why? These were sold by Hit Toys, Play Rail and Motor Road and Rail. The flatbed was Harvey's but repainted. Also in A tier, regardless of the crazy prices of these guys online. Whew. 2007 was a good year for James, as he appeared as an epic flip face version in an awesome set. Yep, the nostalgic James had Boulder Mountain one. A tier. If only there weren't grey wheels, it would be an S tier. 2008 had so much James action. First up, let's talk remote control James. Here he had the ability to go backwards, forwards and just blast the Thomas the Tank Engine theme song everywhere. He featured a fuel tank that why, why is it not a tar tanker that that's the iconic scene why anyway besides that minor discrepancy it's really an s tier white running board remote control function what else would you want oh i'll tell you exactly what a talking flip face james that comes with random parts s tier they fix the wheel color and the angry face is hysterical good job Trackmaster. well played but can Trackmaster make three s tiers in a row uh, yes yes they can with the simply delectable <laughs> delectable james goes buzz buzz pack with accurate stung nose expression and b detailing all around no, I'm not biased because I have one in box, it's just an S tier train. 2009 brought forward an extremely questionable James variant in a set called James Works It Out, based on an episode where James rams into a snowdrift. Now the pack was all well and good. There was a tunnel which James burst out of, but the James model was a conundrum to say the least. He used parts from the flip face one, face from an RC one, and stuff from the normal one. Really weird toy here. A tier though, super fascinating. 2010 ladies and gents brought forward an updated James from Fisher Price with no stickers and painted details on the face which means no more weird laughing face, A tier. As well as this came the Fisher Price talking James that looked strangely like the James works it out one. For the first time it was included in sets, those being James at the farm and James at the searchlight. This model is a B tier, downgrade from the last one. And another remote controlled variant was released that was just bad. Everything is unpainted and looks lazy, C tier. PlayRail also created a pack called the James in the Pasture Wagons that had the 2003 James with some banners. A tier, I'm sure they won't suddenly downgrade the design. 2011 came in strong with a three speed James. Personally, I think this whole range is really fun with the fast, faster, fastest feature. And even though I'd say that it suits like Spencer better, it's still very nice with James. I forgive the unpainted details. 2012 had an entirely new redesign from Trackmaster Fisher Price. With a fatter body shell, a CGI styled face, a liberated tender, and the battery was now stored in the locomotive. A tier. Now let's take a quick detour into knockoff territory for a minute. Nobody knows when this model came into fruition or why it even exists, but it is based on the 2012 James redesign. It is also based off a pack named James Goes Buzz Buzz that we discussed earlier. This model basically has bees on it but no stung nose or unique expression. Rumour has it that this was a cancelled 2014 model before Trackmaster Revolution appeared. And back to the real stuff, for 2013 we have Trackmaster Snow Clearing James that came with an exclusive snowplow and snow detailing. And because I'm a detail guy, this model deserves an A tier. PlayRail then went on a James high in 2014 with four packs. First up, James in the Amusement Park, that's a B. Their rendition of the James Goes Buzz Buzz episode with the CG shocked face and weird prints on the tender, B tier. Another talking James, B tier. And the Origins James that is painted black, I actually rather like it, the colour contrast is nice, A tier. And as you may have noticed, all of these shared a new mould, that being the 2014 PlayRail redesign that featured again a fatter boiler and a CG face. Not the worst redesign, <coughs> Edward, but an A tier nonetheless. Do you 
want your own James? Well, Stamp Playrail Store has you covered. Whether you fancy a busy bee, CGI, or Origins James, they've got the mint trains and rolling stock you crave. But that's not all, their vast catalogue is a treasure trove for every Thomas fan. Don't miss out, visit Stamp Playrail Store after the video and treat yourself to some premium Thomas toys. And 2014 was also the beginning of the end for Trackmaster Revolution, with their James model being issued as a big friends pack, and it had a few alterations to say the least. These include a <gasps> redesigned body with no middle wheel, new wheel rubber, a smaller tender, motor and enhanced performance, and was powered by two AAA batteries, not ideal C tier. Tale of the Brave had our first face variant James, and as you know how much I love detail, the scare James is an S tier. On the subject of Tale of the Brave, say it with me folks, it's time for the troublesome trap set. The prototype had a James with Edward's face that is a neat reference. The final one has some scratches and stuff, B tier really quite mid. The set is epic though, isn't that right Jared from Fisher Price? Yeah. A track master revolution redesign wouldn't be the same without a talking rendition now would it? Introducing the talking James with a prototype that oh, finished model is alright so it gets a B tier too. So you thought that you'd escaped B related stuff? <laughs> Think again because busy B James is not over. In 2015 Trackmaster decided to create a callback version of James with some speed effects? What? This bizarre model came with a truck and hay bale. What is this? Why is this C tier? And now the ugliest Thomas toy ever made, ladies and gents, the real Steam James from 2017. <laughs> So Thomas and Percy are both questionable, but this model takes the cake for just plain wrong. I don't want to spend any longer than necessary on it, so it's instantly subjected to the D tier. 2018 had one pack that was the Turbo James, which joined Turbo Thomas and Turbo Percy, and haha <laughs> I lied, it was cancelled with nothing but an Amazon listing to prove that it was one day thought of. 2019 had another talking James from Playrail that was basically the last one, but instead of an express coach there was a blue truck. Literally nothing else to say here, B tier. And then in 2020 was the 17th fifth anniversary of the railway series and trackmaster made some shiny models and you could bet that james would appear <laughs> it was a normal james but shinier and had a white speck in the eye perfectly all right a tier 2021 brought forward a Lion James that I do not agree with at all, it can go and join Steam Along James in the Steaming Hot D tier. When Trackmaster was making their three greatest moments packs, Runaway James was supposed to be one of them, as we can see by the URL of an Amazon listing, and was eventually replaced by the Henry Winston pack that had, well, Henry and Winston. We don't know what the Runaway pack would have been, as he's been a Runaway in several episodes, but we can speculate that it was either a Trackmaster Revolution Origins James, or a pack based on the fastest red engine on Sodor, as the Thomas and Terence packs, and the Henry packs were based off it. And last but not least was the seventh Talking James that was released by Motorized. Overall it was very original with the design of it being vastly different from the others with a <gasps> dirty grey goods van, red button on top, removable coal load, larger number, added lamp, printed rivets, scratches, bubbles, and sparkle detail with washdown workers, and he interacts with the other talking engines. What a way to end the life of a model and video. Go to Stamp Playrail Store today.